Hey there guys, uh, this is Gammy RC. I know it's been a while, but I've been kind of busy, as you can tell. Um, this is my latest design that I've worked with uh, with Fury, Fury Tech. It's the FX118 platform, uh, the Fury Wagon. Um, this is something that we worked with Hobby, Pl uh, Hobby Plus in order to be able to bring it at an affordable price for everybody. Uh, Fury Tech has jumped on the ready to run uh, field and wants to just put out the best they can, but they want to do it at an affordable price so that everybody can enjoy these uh, vehicles, you know, with their FOC technology, the brushless systems, everything just makes this the best crawler out there. And I don't say it just because I was part of it, but I mean, the reviews pretty much say that that's where it's at right now when you compare out of the box. Now, if you have another crawler out there that has been highly modified, obviously it's going to give it a run for its money because this is, you know, just ready to run. But um, when, when we came out with this one, I specifically held back in making a review for it because obviously it's going to come out as biased because I know more about it being the designer than, you know, somebody else that may have just gotten it out of their box. And I don't think it was fair to the customer for me to come out there and put a review where obviously I'm going to try and glorify this thing and, you know, try to sell the vehicle. Um, I actually wanted to have everybody else come out with their reviews. Um, the guys that got it previous, you know, to anybody else, like, you know, they got them before any customers because Fury Tech sent it to them to get reviews. And then I wanted to wait for customers themselves to come out and show what they feel about this vehicle. Um, my review on this has no weight whatsoever in what you guys are going to get because like I said I don't care how unbiased I claim to be I designed it so you know you as a customer you should go to third parties to get your um, reviews you know I'm going to say good things about it I'm going to say bad things about it but obviously I'm going to want to make it sound better so on that note I want to kind of clarify something that comes uh that has to do with uh, weight bias on the uh, vehicle. Um, if you guys have this vehicle already, you can already tell this is not the way that it comes from the factory. The way it comes from the factory, it has the battery sitting here and it has the electronics sitting a little bit higher. There is a reason for that and in designing, designing this, it took you know, a lot of work to be able to get that, um, that weight bias that is 52 in the front and 40 in the back. And specifically because I wanted this to be a vehicle that anybody could use and I'm talking about four five six year olds all the way up to whatever 70 year olds and um, I noticed that you know from having my own son test vehicles uh, a more balanced vehicle was a lot easier for him to control and to get over obstacles not really extreme obstacles but just regular obstacles so 48 48 in the back 52 in the front uh, seemed to be the best balance that I could come up with to get it to work in every scenario and that's what Fury Tech wanted. They wanted something that everybody could use because we're not trying to exclude anybody from the hobby. You know, if I made it extremely heavy in the front so that you could climb up those extreme vertical hills, you know, you will have five-year-olds that will have it topple over if they're trying to go downhill and uh, they wouldn't really enjoy it as much as they would if it was a better balanced vehicle. Now, that is not to say that I didn't spend countless hours trying to make this work for everybody. Um, you come crawler, you guys. Um, you, you have this special, you know, number that you aim for usually when you're trying to make a comp rig. And that's 60-40 um, for most people. 60-40, 60, 60 in the front, 40 in the back. Now, what if I was to tell you that I actually designed into this chassis that weight distribution? 60 front, 40 back. You know, let's go ahead and lift it because I believe in transparency. Oh, look at that. 60 front, 40 back. And uh, the way you do this, and I hadn't mentioned it because I thought that the community would come out with something by this time um, to kind of show this little detail about the, the chassis. Uh, when I designed it, I made it to where the weight of these electronics and this specific battery would give you that 6040 when placed in this specific location, um, which is the battery up front and the electronics down here. Uh, 
all you really need is the battery tray and the electronics tray which I'm gonna provide in Thingiverse because I have not seen anybody provide them yet so I'm gonna go ahead and provide these for you guys uh, for free and on Thingiverse you can have it 3d printed or print it yourself or have some friend do it for you and uh, all I ask is don't don't try to make it a business to where you're gonna be selling these to anybody because I I mean, come on, guys. This is a community thing. I'm giving out for free. I expect it to be free for you guys. Um, it's kind of like uh, this is for you guys to be able to get that 40, 60 that you've been wanting to get. You don't have to do any kind of special um, upgrade to the chassis itself. This, this is it. Um, as you can tell, I don't have the bumper in there, and I don't have the body. The reason for that is when I designed it, this is what I worked with because you can change your bumpers and you can change your bodies and I have no control in the weight distribution of the chassis itself and uh, with those different bodies when I'm designing for it I only had you know my body and my bumper to be able to give you those numbers and because a lot of people are going to change this um, because obviously it's not going to be a look that everybody's going to want to run so uh, I, I like it but you know <laughs> But I wanted to make it to where this is the base that I um, that I work with to get that 60-40 bias. So what I'm saying is, if you buy this Fury Tech Fury Wagon, yes, out of the box you can get the 60-40 bias. And uh, by moving the shocks down here, you can get the lowest center of gravity uh, possible with the vehicle at this point in time, unless you decide to you know hack the chassis and stuff like that because um, I made it to where this lower location brings you all the way up up until that steering link doesn't collide with the chassis rail okay so this is maxed out uh, how far down you can go with the stock uh, vehicle and you can see the servo does not collide with the battery it has to tray right under it and that is the lowest possible position for the weight, the center of gravity. That is the lowest you can go as far as this setting goes with stock everything, not buying anything aftermarket. Everything free. Um, if you could 3D print that or have a buddy of yours 3D print it for you. So, yes, the Fury Tech Fury Wagon FX 118 is a comp crawler, you know, chassis with a 60 40 weight bias if you're willing to take the five minutes to make this change right here um, one thing you will do if you decide to go with the battery tray that I'm gonna put in Thingiverse uh, because I decided to make it a little bit wider so you can have another battery not just this one is that you'll just cut the little tiny tabs like the little tiny pieces that stick out off of this mount on the back and then in place of that this um, this mount will go screwed right there and then the bolts that you will use are the same bolts that you take out from here where you have the original electronics tray you take out that one and the one that's down here you take those two bolts and put them up here in the front because they're a little bit longer and then they'll hold the battery tray uh, the electronics tray will use the same bolt that goes from the top and holds that electronics tray right there see that's the tray right there and that's the bolt right there so it uses all the existing hardware because like I said when I designed it I didn't want you to have to go run out and get all kinds of parts like this this is what comes in the box except for those trays so just 3d print those and there you go that's your 6040 um, I was really dying to put this out there when everybody was making the reviews because that was the biggest concern that people had and um, it was killing me, but I, I, I did my best to try to hold back and not put it out there yet because I wanted you guys to come up with it first. But uh, if you haven't come up with it first and, you know, I just haven't seen it posted, then this is uh, this is the fix. You can have the 6040 with your uh, Fury Wagon and you can crawl whatever kind of crazy, um, I don't know, courses you could come up with. Um, let me see. Yeah, you can see nothing in there is aftermarket. This is all in there. Um, the other uh, little issue that people complained about when they got to this chassis was that um, I made this part right here a little bit too long to go all the way back. Uh, there was multiple reasons for that. 
um, the, as you can tell, this is the location, the second one from the back to the front, where the, the stock link would go, the upper link. But I made it to where you could have a whole bunch of different options if you go with, you know, your own custom links. And I did um, have these lower section of links here because that was for another kind of link that I was working on and I may provide later on, which actually has an arch in this location. And in order to clear this mount right here for the battery, I needed those to be lower so that it will have uh, an angle where the ball joint would, um, where the rod end would hold onto. And then it will go over the lower link and then back uh, to where the upper link location goes. So that's why I had those bottom ones there to give you a little bit of uh, extra access if you were going to be using something like that, which may or may not come in the future unless you want to build it yourself. Um, because I wanted to allow you to have, you know, the belly dragger um, design and still be able to run the battery tray if that's what you wanted to do. So that was the only way to be able to get, you know, that steep angle on that upper link and not collide with the mount here. Now, obviously you don't need this here. You can really just trim this piece out and trim it all the way back here. And then you don't have that issue of colliding with anything. But I didn't want to take that option out in case that we did come up with that link or you do it yourself. So that's why that's there. Um, but yes, that is the reason. Now there is fixes for that. I've seen people um, come up with sliders and that helps them out. I'm one that doesn't really use sliders that much but there this is uh, one of the slider designs that I made for uh, Fury Tech. Uh, this is the right hand side. So this slider would go right around there and uh, it follows the line of the chassis so you no longer had the issue of that chassis getting in the way. It's got a nice angle to it so that you can literally just you know slide off the rocks and then there's also this other design which uh, Tom put up there, which is kind of like that, you know, nice looking skid, which brings the electronics all the way down and again follows the design. You see, this one is not so long because I didn't want to add that curvature in the back because that's just more for you to kind of, you know, get entangled with and everything. But these are 20 millimeters wide, so you should be able to put your electronics in there, no problem. And um, see, this one kind of fell in there. So you should be able to put your electronics in there with no problem. But these are going to come through um, Fury Tech's website. Um, this is a sign that they actually asked me to make for them. So I, I cannot put these on Thingiverse as of right now. But uh, these will be coming with Fury Tech. And uh, they're obviously going to be much better quality than this 3D prints. I just wanted to show you what they look like. Uh, these holes right here, which some of you might have seen in their uh, Facebook post, is so that you don't have any collision with any nuts that you might put on any of these holes. So those fit in there nicely. No collision. And uh, that should take care of the guys that want to do sliders. But me personally, I like to have the body as narrow as possible uh, so that I can get through more um, difficult terrains. Anyways, this has been a much longer vehicle than I expected, but I really wanted you guys to to see that um, I did think about you guys when making this chassis. Uh, I really did think about that 4060, and I haven't been dodging your questions about it. It's just I really wanted all the reviews to be out, and I didn't want anything to be biased. Um, Fury Tech is very, very clear, and when they send vehicles out to uh, people that review them, they want the truth to come out um, because not only does that give you a better idea of what you're getting in the product, but it gives me an idea of what I need to fix and, you know, what I need to do to make these better because obviously I'm just one guy and I'm not out there in the field as long as many of you guys are and you can find a lot more issues with these designs and then I could, you know, jump in there and fix them. But anyways, that is that and hope you guys uh, can make use of these designs. Like I said, they're going to be on my Gammy RC Thingiverse account. They'll be the only designs I think I have in there. Um, and uh, they're free to download. And thanks for watching.